Welcome to Seven Trumpets Prepper. And in this video, I'm going to test something that I've heard a lot about, but I really have doubted it because I just don't think that it's true um, from some of the videos I've seen on YouTube because it's like the cord's partly out of the video or this or that, and I just think it's kind of shady on some of this stuff. So we're going to test and see if you really can power your iPhone device from fruit, okay? Now to begin with, to make sure I'm not doing the shady business that I see on some of these videos, here's the cord, and look, I got the trashiest cord of all my iPhone cords, okay? So this is not faked, right? I'm plugging it into my iPhone. All right, and now I'm gonna plug it in to this Golden Delicious Apple because that's my favorite. Now I've heard you're supposed to give it a moment and then the thing will click on. I got nothing yet. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this a moment and I will unhook the USB cord and then I'm going to carve a notch in the apple and then stick it into the apple because I've uh, seen a bunch of videos of that too. So we'll test that out and see if that's so. Uh, I'll give this a few more minutes. If it clicks on, I'll let you know. Okay guys, so I've gave it a while, the phone never came on, so this just plugging the USB port into the block and then sticking into an Apple, uh, obviously that just doesn't work, and you know, not cheating here or anything, that's the same cord. So now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take, and I've seen the method where that you notch out a little port here and put the USB plug in the side of the Apple uh, or the bottom of the fruit or whatever, and then that'll work. So I'm going to take and do that right now. So there's no shady business because I really want to put this to rest if this is true or not. Because if it works, man, I mean, I'm all for it for, you know, being a prepper. This is brilliant. But if it doesn't work, then people need to quit sharing it. All right. So I'm going to leave that plugged in. I've got that way up in there. My wife's going to strangle me for ruining her good cord. Just joking. And so there you go. See? Nothing. Nada. So, to me, uh, you know, I, I go off that policy, it is written, you know, and I believe it. Um, or, you know, in other words, you see it with other things, you see it, you believe it. Well, I don't see nothing happening there, so I don't believe that. I think that's a load of garbage. Now, what I'm going to do is for the sake of argument, somebody will say, well, that's just a trashy iPhone cord and it don't work good. I've got another cord that is USB from my power pot set up so I'm gonna take that thing plug it in a whole brand new Apple and we're gonna go at it again okay guys so I'm going to take and I'm gonna give this one more shot with uh, the USB deal with this cord right here that I have from my power pot okay so what I'm gonna do is unplug the iPhone plug in this and now I'm going to find me a new place. I am actually going to just shave that a little bit and I'm going to just die, drive this thing right up in there. So there should have. Here we go. Moment of truth. Nothing. All right. Now, what I'm going to do um, is I'm going to go a different route with this to see if you can make something happen. Is I'm going to take actual electrolytes power aid and I'm going to take and make some ports up in an apple and I'm going to pour that out into a bowl or something and I'm going to actually try to make a battery because now I think this whole deal about charging off of fruit and stuff I've seen so many videos of it but your cords always stashed off to the side okay so to me I think it's all false and right here I think the proof's in the pudding but I'm going to get a bowl I'm going to try this out and we'll see if that can make something go okay so I have a brand new Golden Delicious Apple, okay, picked up from the store. I've got my bowl here, or Powerade. And what I'm going to do is now I'm going to poke holes inside of this apple so that it will draw the electrolytes up into it and causing a chemical reaction. And I'm going to see if this will make a difference, okay. So I'm going to put that right there. Take the Powerade, move my electronics so I don't ruin it before we can test it. Alright, so I got that filled up. 
And now I'm going to try it with the block first. You know, uh, I guess we can just try every method here all over again. So here we have a phone. No cheating. Okay. And plug this thing in here, right? And now I'm going to let that set for a bit. If it comes to life, I'll flick it back on here in a minute. We'll see what the results are. Okay, guys, so as you can see, that day didn't work at all, okay? So nothing. So there's nothing going on there, all right? Now, I'm going to do one last test. I'm going to take this AC adapter out of the way. I'm going to go straight into the Apple. I'm going to core this out just a little bit. All right, and here we go. No cheating, making sure that that's in frame. And there you have it. I think that all those videos showing how to do this is fiction. And as a prepper, you know, I would love for that to be able to work and you actually get power from it. But I think those guys out there making those videos showing how to do this stuff are blowing smoke. So guys, till we see you again here at Seven Trumpets Prepper Channel, wanted to dispel a lie and show you that that is not so. And I hope you have a most blessed day out there in Yahushua name.